Hey everyone, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Welcome cross watchers. If you're brand new to the channel, happy you landed here. Just FYI, not my normal setup. I'm usually sitting right there in that chair at a desk. Uh, desk, I had to get a new one and um, it arrived damaged. So the second new one will arrive on November 1st. So welcome to my living room. I'm sitting at the bar. That's the kitchen. My little kitten Leo is up on the refrigerator observing. And uh, lighting's not great. Audio is through the webcam. We're just going to make do, okay? All right, here we go. Pulling from, I think it's New Beginnings or Starry Beginnings Oracle to activate the reading. I do think it's Starry Beginnings. <laughs> Too bad it took me to Sagittarius to figure out the name of the Oracle deck. Oh, that's the one. Card number six. I love it. Remember, love is the key. Love what you have in your life right now, Sagittarius. Or whoever you are watching, you may claim this message as well. Remember, love is the key. Yes, indeed. That's what we read for. Love. Okay, my friends, so I'm gonna do the split soulmate spread. You can't see the table, but I kind of separate you out. Look at your beloved and, and, and your energies separately, overall energies. I'll give you my general impressions. We'll go back through with the clarifiers. And then for those of you who want a deeper dive into what's happening from your person's perspective, there is an extended available if you are so interested in kind. Do you remember it's a general reading, not a private reading? So it may not resonate with everyone. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. I do private readings. There's always a link below every video that will take you to the booking page and you can check that out. Also keep in mind energies can come through reverse. What that means is I could be talking directly to a cross watcher. So as I'm saying you, you, you about Sagittarius, it could be you, 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 the cross watcher. Okay, so you do have to sort of find which side of the spread speaks more to your experience. And last message before I begin pulling cards. This is the last series of readings that's going to go in my normal order, Aries through Pisces. There's a little message that should pop up right here that says, watch this video, because I did a special video explaining why I'm making changes. Uh, sole purpose is to um, sort of shake up the algorithm a little bit, which has been suppressing my videos. So please watch it, and that way you'll know what's going on. Here we go. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ooh. All right. So there's something. Overall energy is the Eight of Pentacles. When I do relationship readings, to me this is about coming up with creative solutions to a problem or working something out. Your person is showing up with the energy of the death card. Now, death card doesn't always have to be about something ending. It can be about some necessary changes, something that has to be left behind so that we can have some growth, change, and transformation. Uh, yeah, the challenge for this person is they have to come upon a way to communicate sincerely from the heart. This, this little page of cups seems small, but he's mighty because his messages are not just sincere, but they're messages of love, um, of apology if necessary. And since this person's coming in with the death card, it might suggest that they're aware, aware that something needs to change, which is why the overall energy is let's work this out. And oh my gosh, I'm sorry. See where we're going here? And the opportunity for this person, yeah. Do you wanna be right or do you wanna be happy? So I am definitely seeing here um, a person who is becoming aware that they would probably rather be happy. You are coming into the reading with the judgment card. Also Scorpio energy, by the way, because it's Pluto. Pluto rules Scorpio. And the judgment card, you're coming in um, either passing some serious judgment or being open to forgiveness and second chances, some form of acceptance of the apology. Um, and 
perhaps reunion, reconciliation, redemption. <laughs> Here's your challenge, though. Um, yeah, the devil, I I'm going to wait for the clarifiers, but it's either that there's something here that's been uh, really toxic, um, or it's just uh, egoic fears and resistance getting in the way. I'll know more when I get to the clarifiers. And yes, your opportunity is to kind of step step in, like step forward. This seven of wands, can it be resistance and defensiveness? Sure, but it can also be a little self-protective, um, a little self-assertive would be a better way to say it. Like, yeah, no, this, this isn't good. You know, so that if we're going to have some form of a reconciliation or some form of forgiveness, we're going to make clear what the terms are, what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. Um, and I'm not saying that uh, in a way that makes it sound like we're dealing with a child. It's not about that. This is about... Well, yeah, I, I, I want to work things out. That's what we're here for. But if there's something here that has to change and your person is already aware of that, then this card would be the opportunity to step into it and make it very clear to assert yourself so that we don't go around and around and cycle through the same ish over and over. Okay. All right. Ready? Uh. Right. Yeah. Cycle over and over. No. We, we want Saturn here in the world card. We don't want to keep repeating the same cycles. So we want to work it out. We want to figure it out. We want to bring to a close a difficult, challenging, icky cycle so we can have a new beginning that's very liberating a new beginning an up leveling something maybe even more committed sure king of pentacles which i think is this person or your desire for that kind of commitment someone who shows up for you who does what they say they're going to do um, so for those of you who are new, just going to repeat myself, the cards from the bottom of the deck, when I pull from the bottom of the deck, it's, um, coming from unconscious awareness or playing out behind the scenes. Either way, it's what you can't see. It still plays a role though. So that's why I, every little step along the way, I'm pulling from the bottom of the deck just as a check-in, right? What, what aren't we seeing here? Um, and so the thing is, it's like you want something, you want something from someone that shows that they're invested, that shows that they, you know, um, are available for you, that here in 3D, King of Pentacles, that they, they're going to have your back, that they're going to show up, and that we're going to have this new beginning, and it represents some form of an up-leveled experience in the connection. That's what you're working toward, Eight of Pentacles. So that's the overall energy for the reading. Death card. Wow. Yeah, um, I feel like maybe on some level this person is aware that if they're, you know, going to uh, be more committed. Here we have the Hierophant, right? Uh, that it's, it's serious business. Yeah, we can't play it loose, fast and loose because that's how people get hurt. That's how people feel devalued. That's, you know, none of this ghosting crap and, you know, one day we're hot and heavy and the next day I don't, like, call you for three weeks. So I am feeling like this person coming in with that death card energy. It's like, yeah, I know that has to change. They're aware that this is the moment where we're going to have to have some growth um, that leads to something m more transformed, more mature. Um, that page of wands, it, it can be very optimistic, but it can also be very, you know, kind of self-absorbed. Um, not necessarily in an intentionally hurtful way, um, but that's why this little page of cups 
is kind of a struggle because it's like, oh, now I've got to get, you know, I've got to really be sincere. I have to come from the heart. I have to focus on something outside myself, um, which is the Page of Wands experience. Yeah. Wow. This person... It's difficult when you know you've hurt someone to find the words that bring the healing that's needed. It's difficult. It's what separates boys from men, girls from women. But it also is where we find the victory, right? Where we get the win, where we finally feel that sense of momentum. Things move forward because somebody says, thanks for that, I forgive you. And we realize it really can be that easy. It really can be. And so it's as if this person, part of the growth, change, and transformation that they're maybe struggling with a little bit <clears throat> is it's about, on an internal level, because from the bottom of the deck, you know, what path are you walking? What do you want in this life? What kind of life do you want to lead? Because it can be this easy, but you have to choose it. You have to chart that path. And so I feel like because it's from the bottom of the deck, it's, it's still something that's rumbling around inside. It's not yet part of the conscious awareness, but they're getting there. Because the sun is our conscious awareness. The sun is where we go, oh, wow, I, you know, I deserve this. I deserve happiness. I deserve to feel safe and protected in my vulnerability and to choose someone to walk that path with me that I can trust, who can trust me. Hello. So the opportunity with the sun. Leave behind the stuff that doesn't work. Leave behind, um, yeah, uh, game playing, manipulations, um, zero sum game kind of crap. I feel the Eight of Cups is part of the journey toward this happiness. So not really a walking away from any one thing, but, a, you know, what isn't serving them anymore. It's, this is the opportunity position for this person. Being happy requires us to grow, right? We have to change something. If we're not happy, if we're finding ourselves miserable, if we're making other people miserable, if, you know, we find ourselves in a position where we want something, but we know we have to work a little harder. And sometimes there are aspects of our personality that... We wake up one day and we're like, why does this keep happening to me over and over and over again? And then we have to look in the mirror and go, oh, well, maybe it's not them. Maybe it's me. And it's time for me to leave some of that shit behind. It's not serving me anymore. I can't, I can't get away with that baby BS anymore. No. And so temperance is about self-control and restraint. It is more spiritual wisdom. It's like the higher mind of Sagittarian energy. So there is this growth thing that I talked about with the death card. And underneath we have the five of swords. And I feel like it's this inner battle for this person. There's a part of this person that it's like kill or be killed. They might have a little bit of that inside of them. Um, and they just gonna, they're going to have to be patient with themselves. It's their inner, you know, that inner part of them. The part of them that might scheme, the part of them that might manipulate, the part of them that might gaslight, the part of them that might do those things because they, 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 they are so quick to feel defeated in a situation, right? So they want to avoid that. And it seems to me that Five of Swords being from the bottom of the deck... 
is why it's making them hard to just say the simplest two words. I'm sorry. Really three if you count the contraction. Right? I am sorry. Which would totally liberate them and put them on a brand new path. So you see, my friends, I'm feeling a whole lot of growth here for someone over on this side of the spread. Um, got some water energy. This could be the Sag. Got some water energy over here. Could be a Scorpio. Could be anything. Doesn't matter. But I'm just saying, I'm feeling some real growth on this side. Let's look at your energy. And remember, the whole thing can be reversed. A double hit of judgment. Wow. Um, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. So you're like, there's a part of you internally with this hanged man, which is Neptune, rules Pisces, Neptune. There's a part of you that inside is sort of not, not stopping things, but just wanting to get out of a sense of stagnation, feelings of stagnation. Okay? We got a lot of water energy here too, other than the Six of Swords. But the Six of Swords is like, just, just, I just want to break free of this. I just want to get to something calmer. I need the peace of mind. So, okay, okay, okay. Like, I forgive. Let's, let's get beyond this. So you're kind of coming in just wanting to break free of the stagnation and give this maybe another chance. Um, and maybe not just like a free, no free pass. No, 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 no free pass, remember? No, no. But like, um, if you feel this person is really answering the call uh, of something higher, of like, yeah, I'm gonna leave that part of myself behind. I'm gonna leave behind those uglier, antics and aspects of my personality, I know I have to leave that on the cutting room floor. Can't come forward with me on this new path that I want to walk with you. So there's a part of you that's showing up here saying, yeah, just like, let's break free of this stagnation. So there is a part of you that seems a little bit more willing in this moment as long as we are working on getting out of that cycle and we're up leveling the connection here that there's an offer for that, you're good. Your struggle here with devil energy. Wow. Yeah, you got a little bit of... Um, <clears throat> yeah, three major arcana here that are all super important because it's almost like you're not convinced. You want to forgive, you want you just want to push through and get to something calmer, get to the other side of it, get some peace of mind. Um, the card from the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is the my card that would say a cleanup on aisle five. Like, we got to clear the air here. And, and it has to be truth. That Knight of Swords is truth. But there's also a tinge of anger sometimes with that Knight of Swords. And since it's coming from the bottom of the deck, I kind of feel that's within you. Like, there's a little bit of like a, yeah, like, I can't, you know... I can't wait to hear this. Um, and so there's, I'm feeling like you're not thoroughly convinced that you're dealing with somebody who's gonna give it to you straight, um, that's gonna make an honest effort to clear things up, that's gonna deal with you in a more honorable way. Um, that hermit, it feels like there's a part of you you're holding back that you're not revealing that's still a little bit 
inaccessible for this person. Lots of risk assessment. I don't feel that fool is leaping no damn where. Uh, I feel it's risk assessment, right? Like that hermit and that fool landing on the devil is like, oh, I better be prepared to go into hiding. Mm -hmm. And that's a challenge. So that's why I, I'm feeling this as a little bit of self-protection and self-assertion at the same time. Because you're not sure what you're going to hear and if you're going to have to, you know, kind of lean in like, whoa. So let's see the seven of wands. Oh, there we have it. Okay. So I kind of like this for you, Sag. I'm going back here for a second, sorry. Kind of like this for you because as you step into this reading, kind of like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 we, we just got to get out of the stagnation. I, that's, I can't take that. Because, like, especially if you're here as a Sag. Now, I may be talking to a cross-watcher, and you may say, yeah, but that's me too. Fine. But I just want to move to something calmer. I just want to get the peace of mind. I want to get beyond the turbulence. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm ready for some, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that my forgiveness is available. But... I got a healthy dose of wait and see in me. I had a healthy dose. And that does present a challenge. So the opportunity here is to assert what it is you're after, right? What would mitigate this? What would help soften these energies a bit for you? Don't tell me what you're going to change. Show me. Knights make offers. Knight of Cups, the most romantic card in the deck, with the heart basically on a silver platter. Okay? Emotionally available. Emotionally vulnerable. Okay? Giving from their heart. Showing up a changed person for the connection. Bonded at the level of heart and soul. You see what I'm saying? The opportunity for you is to step into it. And I'm not saying it's a demand situation. It's an assertion of what would represent change in your mind's eye. Mm -hmm. Very interesting reading, Sag. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Remember, love is the key. Love what you have in your life right now, but you've got some pretty interesting possibilities on the horizon. So, if this is speaking to you, obviously, I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to see where this is headed um, from this person's point of view. I'm calling them the King of Pentacles for purposes of this reading. So we want to see their perception of you, their feelings for you, their intentions toward you. What do they get from you as well? I'm going to have that card. Um, good, bad, or indifferent. Um, their physical chemistry sort of fulfillment level with you and where they see this relationship headed. All those things could be very helpful um, for you to know, especially if this particular reading resonated for you. So the links for that are below. Option one is a monthly renewal. Click that link. It will tell you what else you get for the monthly renewal, but it does automatically renew. Uh, option two is just this extended one and done. And option three is always the all access pass to everything I've ever done, did right now, and will ever do. So take a look, see at those. Um, if you enjoyed this reading and have not yet already done so, please do subscribe below. That is our energetic exchange. I would be so grateful if you did. And um, yeah, 
that's that's it let me give you the astrology here we have the world card is saturn aquarius and capricorn king of pentacles is taurus death card came out twice that's scorpio hierophant is taurus page of wands aries leo sagittarius a little page of cups cancer pisces scorpio cancerian energy in the chariot the sun is the sun rules the sign of leo uh, Sagittarius in our temperance card judgment is Pluto that came out boom right in a row um, the hanged man is Neptune which rules Pisces devil card is associated with Capricorn hermit is Virgo the fool is the planet Uranus which rules Aquarius knight of swords is Gemini knight of cups is Pisces that's what I have for you. I am headed to the extended. I will see you there in a second. Bye for now.